how do you add hover effects to your images in Squarespace? Now, Squarespace offers a lot of customization options, but sometimes you want to go above and beyond and think outside the box. This quick tutorial will show you how to add some razzle dazzle to your images with a little bit of CSS. I'll also have a blog link available so that you can copy and paste the code for yourself. Before we get started, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions or other tutorials you would like to see for Squarespace, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. All right, as you can see, I'm inside my Squarespace builder. There's going to be a crucial step that's gonna make this whole process very easy before we get started. And it's actually going to be using this Chrome extension and it's called Squarespace ID Finder. Go ahead and install that. I'll leave the link for it in the description so that you can find it super easy, but you'll wanna install this and use Chrome. It's just gonna make your life so much easier and I'll show you why, because we're gonna go over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a hover effect like this. So when you scroll over, we have this little zoom, we maybe we have a color overlay. It gives it a little bit more interest and actually if you're using these kind of images as buttons, it will make you understand that, hey, something's going on with this image, and then we can actually click through. In order to access the CSS, we're gonna go over here to Pages, and then we will come down to Website Tools, and then go to Custom CSS, and this is where we're going to install our code. And right now you can see as I'm hovering over these images, nothing's happening. So they're just static flat images, but we're gonna bring them to life. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna paste a little bit of code in and this will be available in the blog that I have as a companion to this so that you can copy and paste the code for yourself. Now remember, you can customize this to your heart's content. You don't have to just use these settings. You can integrate whatever kind of effects that you wanna put into the hover state. But right here, we've got a, a space that we're gonna need to replace for our block ID. And then what we have going on here is this transition where it's just giving this ease as we hover over it, it's gonna scale up. You could also have it scale down if that was something that you wanted it to do. And then we've got a cursor to have a pointer over it. And then we've got an opacity level that we can set. If we do wanna introduce a background color to it, then how intense that color gets will be affected by the opacity level and i'll show you how to do that so the first thing that we need to do is figure out what our block ids are and that's where that extension comes into play so i'm going to turn that extension on right now squarespace id finder and then you can see as we have all of our little elements we've got those block ids available to us so all we have to do is click them and it's going to copy it and then we can take that and paste it right in and we'll also wanna do it for the hover state as well. Keep the colon hover. And so now when we scroll over it, we see that it's zooming in and the opacity is affected. If I didn't want to have the opacity changed at all, we could just keep it as a one and that's going to keep it full strength and it'll just zoom. You wouldn't even need to have that opacity in there. If you were, for whatever reason, fading it out completely and making it disappear, then a zero. So you can see where the scale is. If we want to do a 0.8, then it's going to just slightly dim. And what happens if we want to introduce that color? So we just need to take that ID again that we had and then add the background color. In this instance, I'm just gonna use red because it's an easy hexadecimal code to remember. So we would just have that ID with the background. And so now as we hover over it, it's got that red hue to it. If we want that to be a lot more intense red, you could do the point two and you can still see the image. It's just uh, mostly red now. So somewhere in the middle may be our happy place. And so that is how that effect is created. As you can see, as I hover over the other images, those don't have any effects put on them because their block IDs are not being targeted. So if we want to add those into the mix, then all we need to do is come back, copy these guys, and then you'll just put a comma here, and then you'll paste the ID, do the same here, comma, paste the ID, and then make sure you had that colon hover. And now when we hover over them, we can see that this is zooming and it's got the red. 
that is zooming and it's just decreasing the opacity, we haven't added that red in there. We could do the same where we could add a comma, we could add the new block ID there, or if we wanted to do something different, we could take the new block ID, we could add a different color, and that way now when we scroll over, you can have different color overlays if that is something that you need. Again, all of this is customizable. You can add whatever hexadecimal code that you need to work for your branding colors. If you don't want them, you don't even have to use the, the color overlay. You could just stick with the opacity. You don't even have to have the opacity. You could just have it zoom. So I just wanted to show you an extra level of customization when it comes to Squarespace because while there is many customization options, sometimes it can't do all the things that you want it to do straight out of the box you just have to add a little extra flair to it with css and with the custom css panel you can do that to your heart's content so let me know if you found this helpful is there anything else that you would like to see hopefully this will spark some ideas for you and how to customize your own squarespace sites as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video